Naira redesign, the good. It has become a cliche. When life gives you lemon, make lemonade. And life seems to give us plenty of lemons in Nigeria. We are focused so much on the lemon that we sometimes do not consider what we could do with it. The recent Naira scarcity was a growing period for a lot of people. One morning, I went to a branch of one of Nigeria's oldest banks in a rural town. And I was surprised to learn that people had come to take positions as early as 2 a.m. I did not bother getting on the virtual queue after I learned someone had a tally number 250. It appeared there was a resistance to the cashless, cashless policy of the Central Bank of Nigeria. Some could not imagine transacting without cash. There were also experiences of debits without um, recipient getting value. I had several personal experiences, including one transaction from September 2022 that is still unresolved. There's also the issue of fraud. However, I believe we must take four steps if we want to be relevant as a nation in the coming years. When I take transfer, it is impressive that tomato and fruit sellers, the cab drivers, the keke riders, and barbers are retailers that now offer to receive payments cashlessly. Slowly, trust is being built in the system. The payment service banks have been fantastic. Some of them are now at par with the traditional banks with the number of active accounts they have. Their apps are easy to use, and the process of opening a basic account is seamless. Could the cash test policy and narrow design have been better handled? You would agree that even successful processes can be improved. A payment channel that is adapted for our transportation model in Nigeria should be developed. It would be splendid to get into a bus or taxi and pay digitally without worrying if a transfer will be successful or not. This is important as high capacity vehicles convey many people daily. So we need a process that will seamlessly handle several successive payments per minute. I believe this is an additional opportunity for the PSBs. We, we might have gone through avoidable pain and hardship, but have moved in a positive direction. All hands will be on deck to ensure that the pains of the Naira redesign policy is not in vain, like the labors of our heroes past. I, I hope in our pains of the last few months, we have planted a tree that would one day give shade to our unborn generation. I must agree with you that I'm very surprised how, about how apt everybody is, is adopting this new payment, form of payment, transfers. I remember telling myself that I don't have cash. How will I go about uh, paying for um, stuff and getting things done? And I'm like, transfer now, madam, transfer. Everybody is just saying transfer. And I'm like, it's impressive to go and get your head done. And the first thing on their mind is that, oh, this is my account number. I've been to the salon today, I've been to the barbers today, I've been to the nail studio today, and everybody was like transfer. So basically, I've been moving around without cash, which is actually impressive because I remember just a few weeks back, I used to have anxiety because I needed to make some payments. I would transfer from our big banks and you'll be there. The thing will buffer. Go around the square. I have communicated the name. Yeah. Go around the square. <laughs> come back. Go around the square. And I'll, I'll be there having palpitations. Because I've just commissioned somebody to do something. I'm supposed to make payments. My integrity is on the line. And lo and behold, the transfer is not going. Then someone somebody told me that, oh, pay us through or something. I don't want to mention their name. Or something. And I was like, oh, what did not hear? What is or something? And I had to ask around that. Is this um, legitimate? Is this working? And my husband was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I have one of those. They work without... Um, network issues, your, well, they have their own issues, but compared to the traditional banks, their services seem to be better. So I think we're all jumping on this 
with a positive attitude. We are looking for solutions outside of the box. And that's something that is very common with Nigeria. It is the citizens that actually provide solutions to our problem. And I was coming here today and I, always, and I thought to myself that in Nigeria, we always survive. And it's our survival instinct that revolutionizes our society, that helps us to develop products that can solve our problem. Now, cashless society, everybody's doing transfer. Traditional banks, their app is forever down. Network is forever having issues. Then we now have PSBs. And I think like that and like that, the people will continue to push for the development that we truly deserve and deserve in Nigeria. Anyway, the CBN governor actually gave an explanation, I think some couple of weeks ago, about this issue you mentioned. And I agree with him. You know, the reason why the traditional banks are having this problem is because they are the banks them that have visited for several years. So just imagine a bank like let me use okay i won't mention them specifically but <laughs> but you know what i'm talking about they have customers they have millions and millions and millions of customers so when before the cashless policy most many nigerians are not used to transferring and nonsense. people still prefer to go to the bank to do a transaction so their their channels their traffic their network the servers can actually accommodate the little traffic they have okay but the cashless policy made the traffic <laughs> heavy jump packs so okay. that was why and their system they are was not robust to so yeah, why the smaller the smaller ones you're talking of the other PBS yeah. they yeah. don't have large customers like these people so they have idle servers that's why they can work seamlessly but okay. anyway this, the CBN governor promised that he will work with relevant stakeholders to see yeah. how to make them work but, but uh, more importantly the cashless if I'm coming here, okay. if I'm coming here um, one of the PSBs has um, hit 30 million Subscribers, okay. I uh, this 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 uh, saw the importance of that line of business and invested in it, and we we're ready for what happened because uh, any any forward thinking organization, I believe, should have seen that this is what is likely to happen, and then you make allowance for it. So, so uh, the PSBs are no longer small guys anymore. They, okay, so let me just tell you, I went from Lagos to Ekiti, and then all I had was 200 Naira. From the moment I stepped out of my house, uh, I, took, I took a cab to the airport, took a plane to Akure, took a cab into Akure town, uh, got on a commercial bus from Akure to, to into Ekiti and I did not give anybody cash, even in Ekiti. And I and uh, in the five in the last five weeks in Ekiti, what I've been doing is doing a lot of transfer. And you find that uh, these small guys are actually very much on ground. They are uh, in Ekiti. You see a lot of POSs a lot of people that have accounts from uh, with this uh, PSBs, and interestingly, we are talking of an area where uh, where you have maybe for a whole local government com composed of a few towns, you have just one physical um, branch. So uh, I, I think the digital banks uh, are actually better positioned for for what we have now. I'd like to jump in here. Yes, I'd like to jump in here. And most people look at the issues between uh, PSBs and um, traditional, you know, banks and say, you know, it's a state of structure. It's not, it's not a straight. Um, um, I wouldn't say how I understand how this information came about because of course we're on TV, but the truth is um, banks have lied about their, their assets fixed and current. So I'd, 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 I'd cite you to where um, the CBN said it had put out a particular amount of cash and said, come with your own physical cash since you say you have so so amount and we'll change it to Naira. <laughs> the traditional banks obviously could not come up with the <laughs> physical cash, which clearly, which, clearly, <laughs> which clearly states that um, if some people have altered balance sheets yes. and it's said things that are not it. true because when it comes to the reality oh, wow. they can't it. bring it out so at that point you have the small boys who of course are doing real things anyway 
Well, we wonderfully have, you know, the only lady in the house, the first lady, Olayemi Ejimai, after the, the next break with different opinions. Thank you. <laughs>